a menace is lurking beyond this door. A menace that if not brought into check could come looking for you. What is it? Well, according to recent surveys, more men than women are leaving the restroom without washing their hands. The bigger problem? No one, from women to men to doctors to food workers, washes up properly. I think that we're all guilty of not washing our hands as frequently as we should, and it's probably the most important thing that you can do to prevent yourself from getting sick. Key times to wash up, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, after handling pets, before eating, after going to the bathroom, and especially after contact with someone who's sick. Germs are on your hands, and either you're touching your nose, you're touching your eyes, or somehow you've had your hands in your mouth. H-I-J-K-L-A-L-P. There are a number of things that you can transmit by not washing your hands frequently. And the cold virus is the hepatitis virus, but certainly there are bacteria that can cause diarrhea. Other flashpoints for viruses and bacteria. Anywhere food is prepared or served, always exercise care when handling raw eggs, meat, and poultry. A lot of times you're preparing a meat. You can certainly transfer some bacteria from meat to salad, for example, so it's a good idea not only to wash your hands before, but also while you're preparing food, also after, and of course, before you sit and eat. Proper hand washing is not a quick rinse. WebMD's Paul Marcico, a registered nurse, demonstrates. I like to make sure when I wash my hands, I give plenty of time, warm, soapy water, and lots of friction, and make sure you get all the areas of your hands. Make sure you get the backs of your hands, in between your fingers, down the sides. I get up my wrists a little bit, and I also get under my fingernails. And I don't want to recontaminate my hands, so I'll use the towel to then turn it off. There are situations where there is no water. If you're traveling or if you're at a picnic, what do you do then? I frequently recommend hand wipes or even those gels, those handy pack gels that contain alcohol. Those easily kill germs. Bear in mind that sometimes water can breed more germs than it kills. And it's times like those when you should just keep your hands to yourself. For WebMD, I'm Damon Mahard.